in a town in the Volta region called Adafiulu is where I found myself. The common occupation here among the men is fishing, and the type of fishes here is called Keta schoolboys, which is locally called abobi. again Charlie oh, it's wow. vlogmas day five and I'm currently here at my auntie's place right here in the village called Adafienu and today we are preparing a local delicacy authentic delicacy which is very common in the Volta region anyone who is from the Volta region has one way or the other eating at Bobby Taddy and Akle <laughs> my auntie is behind the shouting that sheriff and come and let's start it so guys you are coming along with me we are going to have I look how delicacy with you. So come, let's go. I hope you're enjoying this vlogmas series so far. I mean, if you are not enjoying it, enjoy it through my lens. Let's go, guys. So we are going to start by peeling off, removing the head. This is how the fish looks like. This is called abobi. It's locally called abobi. So let me know in the comment section how you call it in your local dialect. This is called abobi. And meet my auntie. Auntie Baba, hi! Hi! It's my right, two beautiful. So here, most most often we do everything together. So we are going to be removing the head. As you can see, Auntie, removing the head from the from the fish. All you need to do is remove this. This is dried fish. This is dried and keta schoolboys. It's locally called abobi. This is how it looks like. So if you haven't seen abobi before. I mean you get to see it today so this is the fish we are going to use and this is the only protein we are going to use for the stew uh, the ingredients we are going to use is um keta school boys which is locally called abobi here and we are going to need tomatoes pepper onions and this is local salt local salt and we have a little cube just a little so this is the ingredients used for of the places that we used to think that they are villages and now towns because most people in the cities are now building luxury homes here and so now things are changing like the village is now a city it's now a town and so and um, auntie was telling me that here is not here's not a village i definitely know it's a town it's not a village so it's not a village yeah, mommy. Not at all. <laughs> So he says it's no longer a village, it's a town, it's a city. Areas like the Nu, Aflao, um, um, neighboring, neighboring towns are no more villages. But yeah, Adina, Salakofa, Salakofa is my village, Blekusu, Toko, they are all not villages anymore. So yeah. If you haven't been in Ghana for the longest time, if you haven't been in the Volta region for the longest time and you think um, some part of the villages are villages, guys, look behind me. This used to be like a total village, but now it's like a modern home. So yeah, um, we are still waiting to set the fire and start cooking. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are wondering what this is, this is charcoal. This is how it looks like. This is cool. Yeah. <laughs> so the, this is the main ingredient, the um, Keta School Boys, which is called abobi. So right now we have to um, roast the abobi. So we are going to start by roasting it. And Aku is going to help us. Say hi, Baba hi. Akumi, Baba hi. So Akumi doesn't speak English, but I mean. So Akumi is, Akumi is my sweetheart. The last time I came to the village, she was very helpful cooking all our dishes for us. And so you all should say hi to Aku. Aku, Baba, hi. 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 <laughs> so we are going to start by roasting this together with a stick. So this is how it goes. The 
The reason why we roast it is because to make it um, well done, this is raw, it's just dried, and so it's, it's your tongue will eat you if you don't roast it. So that's what is happening now. So we are roasting it a little bit before we start our dish. And our fire is still on, Akubi is helping us um, make sure the fire is hot still. Yeah, that's what is happening now. So one thing is when you are roasting it, it gives us this nice aroma. Like um, I don't know how to describe the smell, Auntie. Uh, it's very nice. I mean, you can you can try it at home. You just roast the fish a little bit with no oil, with nothing. You see, do you guys know how granite is roasted? Like they sometimes they use sand, but this we don't use sand because it's fish. Else the fish will be sandy. So yeah. So we're about to grind our pepper, onions, and salt, local salt. So Auntie is helping us. So we usually use the eating web bowl and the grinding um, stick. If you don't have that, you can use the blender, which is equally fine. I'm going to add the tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Look at you, I'm so excited. I mean, you know, when you prepare it in the city, it's different from preparing it in the village. There is this different touch, and especially when it's coming from big, big aunties like this. Oh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to dig in. So we are going to grind the tomatoes together with the pepper. So after roasting it, this is how it looks. Look, you can see it's well done and it's very dried. Now it's edible. I can I can chew it. Like, this is good. Very, very good. If I say I'll chew all, we won't get some to eat the meal, so. This is how it looks like. Very dry and this is a very healthy meal. And so. So I was asking Auntie, so we are about to start the atpeleng, but mm -hmm. um, we are supposed to put the fish in the atadia, mm -hmm. and she says that. Let me quote them a few here. Aba bobo, ta mi na atpeleng na mvo fi niak pali akok kore mo kwa. Girl, I'm fine. I will find. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. was, I know soft. I know very soft. So mm -hmm. we are done with the pepper, and our bobby is also toasted, and so we are waiting to start. So Auntie is going to cover it. Because of the flies, we need to cover it with a napkin. Oh, nice. And about to start the atpeleng. The atpeleng, I'm going to prepare it for you. About to start the um, atpeleng. And what the ingredients we are going to need is and the um, corn flour, which is dried maize, which has been blended. So this is how it looks. Yeah, it's very so smooth. It looks like um, flour. Then we are going to use Auntie is already holding. She's already chewing the gari. <laughs> And we are going to need a little bit of gari. Some people will choose to use um, cassava dough. Mm -hmm. Cassava dough mixed with water. Mm. I mean, it's fine. We we'll use gari to serve as a starch because the corn dough is a little dry. So if you want it to be very soft, then you use a little bit of um, gari. So yeah, our hot water is on fire. We have, um, we have hot water, then we had a little bit of salt. So we allow it to boil before we start mixing. So yeah, this is something I do. I cook bangku all the time at home. So this is nothing new. And so yeah, we are about to start and you're coming out. So you allow it to boil for some time. Then you can now start adding your um, flour. That is your dried maize, which is called awa. Say awa. Awa kula. We are going to start by Auntie. Please help me pour. We are going to be pouring. So while she's pouring, you have to be stirring, else it will become a ku a ku. How do you say a ku a ku? Like um, it will be lamb. It will have lamb in it. It will create lamb in it. So you mix it. Till it solidifies, then you stay. So after 
take my some time. I'm going to let it um, boil for some time. Then it will be ready. So super excited. <laughs> this is how it looks now. So we are still going to keep it for some time so that we can be assured that it's well, 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 well. The apple is ready. You can tell from the color, it looks a little creamish and yeah. And it tastes <laughs> So our atelier is ready. This is this is how it looks. So we are going to wet the um, the fish together with salt water. We just added a little salt water for taste. So here we add our dried roasted fish. Oh, for honey. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, you're watching it because of the sun. Mm. Okay. So that there will not be any sun in that to you. Your teeth will, uh, uh, will be itchy. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So our meal is ready. And we are going to eat as a family. Auntie is going to eat. <laughs> Me <laughs> and us with Aira. Aira, bring your chair. Come and let's eat. Yeah, God bless the food. So this is our staple called Atplen with proper abobitaji. Oh. This is a typical meal right here in the Volta region. And this is a family meal. It's very hot. Oh. That food wise. So we are almost done. Everybody is full. Look at Auntie. <laughs> Auntie has enjoyed the meal. <laughs> this is my last bit. Mm. This is one thing I'll be missing from the village. I know, right? I'm in the city. So we just clear the table. This is the last bit. So guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. It's Vlogmas Day 1. Day what? Day six. So far, so good. I'm right here in a village called Adafienum, and I just ended my meal. As you can see from my tummy, I'm super, super, super full. The food was delicious. It was good. It brought back old memories. And this is my my niece that looks my smile, smile. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is my niece that looks like me. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed being here, as much as I enjoyed documenting my entire experience with you. See you tomorrow. As always, I promised you I was going to give you daily vlogs from today till Christmas. And so, see you tomorrow. Mm, the food. Ah, that food was good. <laughs> until then, until next time on my YouTube channel, I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have a surprise for you. I'm going fishing with the locals. We are going to see. You see the fish we had today? We are going to see it. And we are also going to the market. So, tomorrow is a good day. Stick around and stay with me because it's Vlogmas until Christmas. I love you all.